People sometimes ask, if someone cannot attend the intervention, is there another way they can participate? And the answer is yes. Most people do whatever they have to do to attend, but sometimes life events get in the way and it's simply impossible. For instance, we have had people who are suffering from an illness, perhaps a chronic illness, or maybe they're in the, they're in the hospital. They want to participate, but they can't be there physically. We've also had situations where a family member has been overseas, and it simply isn't practical to fly all the way back to the States for the intervention and then all the way back to Europe, for instance. Uh, Work-related issues that are very important, like a big project, for instance. So there are a number of different things that might get in the way, and sometimes the person is actually on the way to the intervention. They're flying. They may have a layover. There's a snowstorm, and they're stranded, and they can't get in in time. Sometimes the person is so important to the intervention and the team says, you know what, we really need them there in person. They need to be right there with the rest of us and we want to postpone the intervention until they can make it. And that's perfectly okay to do. Sometimes the team says, we need to intervene right now. We cannot postpone. So let's pull them in in another way, tie them into the intervention in a different manner, even though they can't be here personally. So there are two things that we suggest. One, they write a letter and they email it to somebody on the intervention team. Everybody goes over the letter just like they do with all the rest of the letters, make whatever changes, edits, talk to the person over the phone about their letter until it's just right. And then the person that has written the letter can choose the person on the intervention team that they would like to read the letter on intervention day. So for instance, maybe it's the alcoholic sister who's, who can't attend and she would like her mother to read the letter. So she would choose that person and then when it came time for that, for her letter to be read, the mother would read it for her. Another thing that you can do, and this is really important if you feel the alcoholic should really hear that person's voice in person, you can call them on the phone during the intervention. So let's say their letter is letter number four. All you would do is after letter number three, you would pick up the phone, call them, say to the alcoholic, Aunt Mary couldn't be here, but it was so important to her to participate that she would like to speak to you now on the phone. Of course, Aunt Mary is waiting for that phone call, so you know she's going to answer right away. You hand the phone to the alcoholic or addict, and then Aunt Mary reads her letter over the phone. And then you continue on with the next letter and complete the intervention. So those are the two ways somebody can attend, either by letter having somebody else read the letter for them, or they read the letter themselves over the phone. Let me offer you one tip, don't overdo it. In other words, if one person can't attend, use one of these techniques, the letter or the phone call. But if three people can't attend, it's gonna be cumbersome and it's gonna interrupt the flow of the intervention. So you have to make a decision. If all three people are very important, then maybe you need to postpone the intervention until they can all be present. Um, or maybe you just pick one of the three to write the letter or make the phone call to.